Hi everyone, I'm Dan from Dan Aesthetics at 3rd Avenue Spa. Today we are talking about temporal hollowing and restoring that with fillers. It's often overlooked, but it's one of the first things I like to address if a client wants to turn back the clock by a few years. So stay with me, it's going to be interesting. So there's two ways to inject the temple areas, and that's going to be either a direct needle technique that goes right to the bone, so you're going to go very deep, or you're going to go superficially using a cannula. So in order to make that decision, you just need to have a good grasp on your anatomy and you're good to go. So let's bring in Sarah to help us out. What's going on, Sarah? Sarah's here, and I've drawn out a few important highlights here. This is your superficial temporal artery. It comes up along the temporal, over, and connects into the supratrochlear artery. Now, if you get filler into here, it can run into the eye. So, how do we want to avoid that? Well, we can go deep, or we can go superficial, but if we go superficially, you want to use a cannula, ideally 25 gauge. 25 gauge usually shouldn't pierce uh, an artery or vessel, however, to be extra safe, I don't recommend using a cannula going in this direction because you could slip into that artery. So what you want to do is go perpendicular with it and do one of these. So just kind of fan in this way, fill in that at a superficial level, rub it in and you're good to go. Now the other benefit of using a cannula is that you avoid hitting two other major arteries that run deep and that's going to be your deep temporalis, posterior and anterior arteries. So the posterior is going to be running along the hairline and your anterior is going to be running a little closer to the orbital rim right around here. What's important about the deep temporal anterior artery is the location. This artery here never comes closer than 1.8 centimeters from the orbital rim. Take a look at Sarah's eyebrows here. We're not counting the location of the eyebrow, it's the orbital rim. Feel it and once you have that bony prominence then you go up this temporal crest by one centimeter and then one centimeter down. This is the sweet spot. This is an avascular region. There's no arteries in this area and you can inject deep to the bone, syringe, plunge, and what you should do on top of that is just keep your finger in this location behind it because as you push it, it's going to spread out. And keeping the, your finger there, it'll prevent it from going into the hairline. We really don't need any product there. We wanna get this area restored. So keep your finger there, down to the bone, inject and push down and you're gonna have a nice uh, filling of that temporal region. Now the last tip is do not overfill the temples. Ideally, for both men and women, what you want is slight hollowing or flush with the temporal ridge in the cheek, but definitely nothing beyond that. Now, product of choice. If I'm going to be going deep, what I'm going to choose is something with a lot of G prime and something that's going to provide lift. My product of choice is Stellage L. The reason why I love it is because it gives me both of those characteristics and at the same time, it doesn't give me any surprises later on. Basically, what I see is what I get with this product and it ends up uh, blending really nicely. If I were going to be using a cannula technique, I could also use something uh, as thick as this, but I probably would choose something slightly less cohesive or something with an intermediate amount of lift. And I would feather that in and blend it in nicely and you're good to go. All right guys, that is it. Next week, I'm away. I'm in Paris actually, taking more courses. I'm at the biggest international conference there is, so I'll be like a kid in a candy shop. Can't wait to bring that to my practice, and then after that, explain to you guys what I feel works for me. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, please leave a message, and I'd be more than happy to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Until then, take care of yourselves, exercise daily, and be nice to everyone. Take care.